Are you tired of Discord, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Slack? Well, I have a option to share with you that I think you might like better than any of these. Open Chat is a great chat option that you may not have heard of. You can create communities with Open Chat. Open Chat is compatible with mobile devices by putting a shortcut on your mobile device. Open Chat has group support. And of course, there are permissions that can be assigned to users and groups of users. You can organize your chats and communities to make things quicker and easier to locate. There is a customizable user profile. And of course, like any chat application, you can send messages. You can also search within communities or groups for different things that interest you. And because OpenChat is on chain as a Web3 project, specifically built on internet computer and controlled by a DAO, you can actually vote on features and changes coming to OpenChat if you are a chat token holder. For example, we can see various proposals that were put forth for changes to OpenChat. In order to get started, you will want to first create an internet identity if you don't already have one, and this will allow you to sign into OpenChat. We can see here what OpenChat looks like on a Windows desktop, and this is the Coinopoly community that was recently created and you can find communities by exploring communities with the explore communities button at the bottom left and here you can see that there are communities for a lot of different people you may be familiar with zero to hero coin nation jerry banfield as they are youtubers like myself there's also communities for different projects such as windows 98 open chat itself i see panda and many more you can search for communities for example, if we use the search bar at the top and search for Coinopoly, there is the Coinopoly community. And for your convenience, I've simply put some links below in the video description. If you are interested in creating your own community, you may do so by clicking on Create a Community from the Explore Communities section. However, you will also need to be a Diamond member to create a community, and Diamond membership is a paid membership. However, note that I recently purchased Diamond Lifetime for 80 chat, which is the cryptocurrency of OpenChat, and that equates to something like $32 or $33 at the current prices or at least at the price that I paid a few days ago. We'll see here that OpenChat is currently just over 40 cents. And so paying 80 chat is the equivalent of about $32.36. If you preferred, you could also do something like just create a group instead of a community by going to group chats and clicking on the dot, dot, dot near the top and choosing new group. One of the features of OpenChat is it does have a wallet built into OpenChat. And when you open the wallet, you can see a list of quite a few different cryptos. These are just the ones that I currently have enabled. But if we go to configure wallet, we can see all of the different cryptos available for use in the crypto wallet in OpenChat. In addition to this, you can also swap tokens right here in the OpenChat wallet, although it does actually use a third party in this case. And at this time, time of recording being October 19th, 2024, the swap process is currently facilitated by ICP swap. For example, I can swap ICP for OpenChat and it's going to tell us how much 10 ICP is going to get me in chat, which is the token for OpenChat. All we have to do is click quote and it tells me that for 10 ICP, I will receive 193.033 chat and all I have to do is click swap. This process usually does take a couple minutes 
and it may fail on occasion. However, it's been pretty good so far in my experience. We see here that the swap has completed and I can close this window. And we will also see that it is now showing 211.139 chat in my open chat wallet. And if I wanted to, I could send that over to an NNS wallet or elsewhere. There are other things that you can do here on open chat, such as create a prize. And what this means is that you can offer up crypto to people for free, which is something that you'll see pop up quite a bit in certain channels, but it's usually just dust. So for example, I could offer up 50 alien to one winner and I could make it available for an hour and I could make it available for a day, a week. I could have a thousand winners, but you're not going to split 50 alien into a, a thousand winners. And you can also decide whether diamond users are eligible or any user is eligible. And I'm not sure what this exclamation point is for, probably just to draw attention to the fee. Hopefully it doesn't mean that this isn't enough dust to offer. Let's see what happens. And as we see, the offer is running and there would be a claim button right here, which is how I actually got this crypto in the first place. I am just going to go ahead and cancel this by deleting it. And I didn't delete it quickly enough as somebody has already claimed it, which is fine. I didn't pay anything for any of that crypto in the first place. You can also create a poll like this. You could ask a question. You know, like, how old are you? 10, 20, 25, 50, etc. And start the poll. Of course, this wouldn't be a particularly good poll. You can also set whether people are anonymous or not. You can have a limited duration. And while well, you can see the options for the poll on screen, I'm not going to bother to send the poll. You can also make swap offers such as this right here, where you see that there's an offer to swap 22.5 chat for 1.18 ICP. And if I wanted to create a offer, I could say I want to swap ICP, let's say one ICP for 50,000 origin, which wouldn't make any sense because you can see the value here is not in line. So nobody in their right mind is going to accept that. But the point is you can make swap offers that people can accept and complete with you directly. You also have some other features that you would expect to see in an application like this. So for example, in this case, not only do they have GIFs and memes, but you can actually create your own memes. So you would start off by finding a picture that you wanna use, and then you could say, whatever you want, and then send that particular GIF or meme. Another feature is you can just simply post a, a GIF like you can on most things these days. So if you wanted to post this, for instance, and then you could add an optional message here if you wanted, and then you could click send like that, and you can also delete a message or edit or forward. And I'll just go ahead and delete because this really doesn't have any value in the chit for chat, general chat. Another feature of open chat is you can actually just send somebody crypto. You could enter somebody's username like Pineopoly, which of course I can't send to myself, so it doesn't get matched. But once you enter somebody, you could send them ICP or any ICP ecosystem coin or chain key coin such as CK Pepe, CK SHIB, CK USDT, CK Link, and then of course they have CK ETH and a bunch of other things. We have CK ETH here, CK BTC, CK USDC, and then other ICP ecosystem tokens like Viral, IC MAGA, Water Neuron, and so forth. And the great thing about OpenChat, besides all of the features that I just showed you, is you don't even have to be all about crypto. You don't have to hold crypto. You don't have to buy crypto. All you need is an internet identity. And you can create an internet identity for free. And then you can see here what you can do for free. You know, a free user can send text messages, gifts, reactions, create 
polls, reminders, send crypto. They can have direct chats. They can even have their own five private groups for free. But if you're a Diamond member, which is available monthly, and there's a lifetime Diamond membership, which is what I went for because it's very inexpensive. And I'm not sure if they have quarterly or, or annual offhand, but you can go monthly and you can go lifetime. But you'll see all the other things that you get with Diamond. So for instance, you can send larger media messages, you get more storage, you can create communities, which is why I went with Diamond so that I could create a community. You can create more private groups, you can have public groups, gated groups, translations, make and accept peer-to-peer -peer swaps. The Diamond badge gets applied to your username. You can have alternate display names and you can collect airdrops and rewards. And as you see here, I'm a Diamond Lifetime member, which is that yellow gold diamond. And the blue diamond is just a regular diamond member. The check mark means that I am verified as a unique person, also known as Proof of Humanity, which is powered by Decide AI. And this just shows that I am currently on a three day streak, which is kind of funny because I'm actually on a six day streak, but apparently the badge is, I think it's like three day, 30 day, 100 day, certain other milestones where your badge will actually update. Now, most of this stuff that I have shown you, or actually all of the things that I've shown you to this point are 100% on chain. And although they do have video calls and video streaming, which is what video calls are, and I believe you can even upload video, I, I believe. But as it says here, video calls on chain, that's huge. And as it reads, yes, it would be. And that is what we always wanted to achieve. But it is very important to be clear that we are not there yet. There remain some aspects of voice and video which are simply not feasible on the internet computer as it stands today. So we have to choose between partnering with an off-chain provider to fulfill a much requested feature or being unable to deliver the feature at all. Now, when clicking this link for an off-chain provider, it takes us to daily.co, which is real-time voice, video, and AI for developers. And evidently, this is the off-chain centralized service that they are currently utilizing for or those features of open chat that they don't have on chain, which is video and voice. And we see here the open chat roadmap. Development started late 2020, and we jump forward to where we are currently at, which is quarter four of 2024. And they are apparently working on NFTs, contacts, profile pages, and personas. And evidently, they're talking about holding NFTs in your wallet, send and receive NFTs, verified NFT avatars, gated groups, communities, and channel membership by NFT collection, all about NFTs, display NFTs, buy, sell NFTs, NFTs, Bitcoin Rune integration, possibly, and some other features. And it looks like in the future, they want to include other integrations, integrate chat apps into OpenChat, integrate IC apps into OpenChat, AI integrations, webhooks, bots and mini apps, end-to-end -end encryption, native apps, and blue sky thinking. 